here is the beginning of the solar tilting ground mount project. It's a piece of 2 inch galvanized 40 schedule pipe. I bought it at Home Depot. They only have 10 footers so they cut it to 8 foot for me. And now I'm poking a couple half inch holes into it. One of the holes will be 2 inches from the end. Next hole is 24 inches and then the third hole is going to be at 36 inches. So I made my first hole and then I have to index the pipe left in the vise. But I want to make sure that all the holes are in alignment. So I'll take my bubble level and I will rotate the pipe until I have the bubble nice and centered. And then I can come down on my vise and I can drill my other two holes. Having all three of those holes in alignment is important. Uh, you'll thank me later if you do that. All right, so I just buried the two galvanized poles. Four feet of the poles are in the ground, four feet are above the ground. Made sure that we're nice and level between the poles. And then I also made sure that when I look through my holes, I'm lined right up with the other pole. I don't know if you can see that, but just want to make sure the alignment of the holes is good. See the two inch hole, 24 and 36. So while I'm waiting for the concrete to dry, I cut a piece of the Unistrut. It's actually super strut that I purchased at Home Depot. Comes in a 10 foot section. You can see about how big it is. And I put it onto a horizontal bandsaw to cut it, but you can probably do it with a sawzall or a hacksaw or whatever you have. And then I'd suggest taking a file, cleaning up the edge that you just cut, uh, so that when you're tilting your panels, if you run your hand across this edge, you're not going to get yourself cut. And then I'm going to use half-inch hardware. Uh, I just bought galvanized half-inch 13 screws and nuts and washers. Uh, and then also... These are the 90 degree brackets that are going to form the hinge between my two inch pipe and my unistrut or my super strut. And these they sell with the super strut at Home Depot and they're like $2 a piece or something like that. So I'm going to start to assemble this. You can see how I put my first L bracket on here. And I'm going to do that to my other piece. So once I have that up on the verticals, I'll show you that. This is the strap hinge that I got at Home Depot that's going to help me tilt the panels. I'll zoom in on the sticker here so you can see what they call it. There we go. 10 inch heavy duty strap and zinc plated. It's about $9 each and I bought two of them. I had to do some modifications. Uh, originally this hole was like a 3 8 hole. I had to open it up to a half inch. And then I put another hole uh, two inches over from it. So these are two inches apart from each other on center. And then over here, again, I opened up this half inch hole that was originally in it. And then I put another half inch hole two inches outside of it. So on this side, the new hole is inside. On this side, the new hole is outside. If you call it all that. All right. All right, here we are again outside in beautiful New Hampshire. Another nice day. Just put my first piece of super strut on. This is a four foot piece. And it's hanging about at the center. And you can see right here, I'm just using an L bracket. You find this right with the super strut. This bolt right here, three and a half inches long. I got that wrong at first because it's two inch pipe. So I thought three inches will be plenty enough. Yeah, but that's two inch diameter on the ID. All right, so three and a half inch bolt, got washers on each side, got a nut here. And this thing hangs, eh, so it sort of wants to hang like that. I think once I have the panels mounted, I want them to tend to push down. Now I'll come over to this side and I'll show you what the next step is. Now you can see how I've installed my strap hinge right here. I've got four half inch bolts holding that on. And I have my specially drilled holes so that I can be at it at the right angle. This is going to give me the adjustability. I'll just take out this L bracket right here and I can adjust the angle of the panel. So that is the next step. So these are the two posts set up 
in the summertime mode so that the panels are faced towards the sky a little bit more than in the winter. And, um, you know, we put three holes on the post, and I just did that so that we'd have a little bit more adjustability. I wasn't sure exactly how it was all going to come together. So I'm actually using the lower holes uh, for the bottom supports. The next step is to put L brackets onto your super strut. These L brackets are, are from Renogy. Uh, if you go to renogy-store.com, that's where I got these. I don't think you necessarily need to use these. Uh, you could probably continue to use super strut for your cross members, but um, I found these on Craigslist, so that's what I'm using. And then these hook on to rails, extruded aluminum rails. And if I back up, you can see what it looks like with all the rails attached. So here we are with the panels up. And I'll zoom in and show you what the hardware looks like. And over here, I've got the wrong size clamp. So I'm going to have to order the right one. But it's going to hold it up there for the time being. And then back here, I have my electrical connections to the house. And even with it, let's see, 720 at night, I still have a, one amp of electricity coming off the panels at 12 volts. So that's pretty good. It'll be interesting to see how much power we get tomorrow. So that is pretty much the finished product. It's nice and sturdy.